Right folks, this is the F18 Super Hornet from Freewing. Uh, we are just here tonight of doing some modifications on the elevator, the moving elevator which is here. Um, we took this part out again and what we are planning to do is the following. This is the normal the moving part. So we made a line right here. This is going to get cut off and we will sand it to make it like a uh, triangle shape like my friend is doing right here <coughs> and um, then we're gonna put in three hinges on each elevator and um, we're gonna use stronger and longer rods here for the connection so it's gonna get about here I suppose around there um, <coughs> approximately and we're going to be using some of these uh, for the connection so that shouldn't be much of a problem uh, I guess so this is one of the modifications on the F-18 Super Hornet <coughs> just um, preparing all of the work for it approximate time will be about maybe two to three hours uh, also we are lined here with with a pen um, the proper alignment uh, with the um, receiver turned on to make sure that um, once this part is done we're just gonna take it back in glue it with epo epoxy in place like that and um, yeah that should make it more stable for high speed flights and stronger motors uh, which will be coming uh, hopefully by next week <coughs> the ARC uh, free uh, 665 or 3655 I guess so um, we'll keep you guys updated and uh, we'll see how it, how it goes yeah that's pretty much the triangle alright we'll get some updates shortly <laughs> alright folks this is, <laughs> <laughs> this is the second um, elevator yeah, this is the first elevator being done with uh, the hinges, it's about 45 degrees um, three hinges are installed with epoxy and uh, this is just one of the first steps to be done uh, in order to complete the new elevator system for the F-18 um, Super Hornet so um, yeah, we'll see how this one will go it's moving fairly good and um, yeah Keep you guys updated. Yeah. All right, folks. <laughs> First part is is done. First part is done right now. Just glued it uh, with epoxy into place, and um, yeah, the, um, the steel rod is still inside for a bit more um, to stabilize the whole stuff. 45 degrees up and down, looking good so far. We'll keep it going. Hello pilots, never saw me here again, um, elevator is finished, right there, as you can see, parts are moving, everything is glued right on the fuselage, and of course with the metal um, piece going inside, that has also a bit of epoxy on it, uh, just to stabilize the whole thing a bit, so um, it's about a good 45 degrees should be probably enough to actually um, fly up and down is not much of a problem anyhow and we also have the, the, fruct, uh, the thrust vector system as well so that shouldn't be much of a problem either and um, that's how it, how it looks from behind now the last thing that needs to be done is actually the metal rod connecting all the way um, right there and um, this is the last part then we're gonna put the, the piece back in and um, then we all finished you can see right there I'm using a high-tech um, HS65 um, Metal Gear servo and <clears throat> hoping that this will work out just fine 
Uh, it will give a little, bo little bit more stability in the air um, when flying with a more high powered system so you don't have the fluttering in the air because you can see right there this is pretty stable um, in comparison to here you have here a little bit more flex they're also a little bit more wider than uh, from the free wing version right there this baby is going to get ready hopefully soon as well and uh, we'll see that we can get the glass uh, MiG-29 in the air as well anytime in the beginning of 2011 um, this is just the part for it right now I'm just going to continue to do the last few bits and pieces on the plane and um, just going to wrap it up then for tonight and yeah well we'll see how everything will work out and um, till then never summer out hello guys never summer here for about the fourth or third time now tonight the F-13 elevator modification is finished right now and um, I just put the plane upside down um, did a few bit um, just got rid of these things they will be covered so there will be zero uh, wind turbulence and as well on the other side um, just a few little modifications on the plane now um, this part here is also finished just gotta sort everything out now you can see um, I got the rod I adjusted it accordingly and um, I put the thing down here okay so it runs all the way to the servo nothing is yet connected it's just to, sh uh, to show and above that I put a carbon tube a hollow one over it so there will be no flex while I'm in the air so no matter how fast I go or how quick turns or going up and down um, the move, uh, maneuvers I'm, I will be doing that won't really impact it because it won't bend okay so same thing uh, go, goes on the other side um, I'm just gonna put a little bit of epoxy on the side down there and on the other side just to secure it uh, I don't want those things to come loose during flight now this part will be covered again uh, I'm gonna fill up a little bit of here with uh, my PU um, glue so it's gonna spread over time and gonna fill the gaps just to really be sure about the whole stuff so now, as you can see right now here um, door moving this is right now low throw so we can see here And this is high throw. Now, I'm going to be really surprised how this is going to turn out in the air because I don't have full moving elevators. If it's going to, well, I don't know, um, be a bit of more difficult to fly, like for takeoffs or landings, or maybe not. Looking at the F-18 from Starmax, they've done it, it's working uh, pretty well and I'm thinking this should be here the same. So yeah, that's pretty much it folks for now. Um, just gonna glue, fill the spots right in there, I'm gonna close this down, it's gonna look nice again. Um, you can see the F-18 has already quite a few marks. Uh, left but it's a foamy at the end so you can't really make sure that um, the, fa the foam plane looks the same as you uh, when you actually bought it so this is it for now this is the first modification on the F-18 Super Hornet and uh, well I can't wait to get this baby up in the air to see how she flies and uh, well thanks for watching and have a good night, never summer out.